Hello everyone, this is Mewtwo King and MKLeo, and we're going to talk about our Pichu Guide. That's Pikachu. Pichu's a returning character from Melee, and he's originally from the Pokemon series. And now we're going to get right into it. Pichu! So Pichu in Melee he used to be more of like a joke character, even though I actually think he's not bottom five in a game. The point is he's a below average character and his intention was to be a joke character. I wanna be the very best. In this game he's actually quite a good character. Like no one ever was. About the same level as Pikachu, he's a top tier character. He's a very different play style. He's some things he's worse at, but he's a much more things he's even better at. And so we're gonna get into those things right now. So Pichu's main play style is pretty much to use the full hop thunder jolt. That does quite a bit of damage, um, even more in the air. But the main use of this is that uh, you take almost half a damage. Yeah, that part's not so good, but you can be aggressive afterwards. So you shoot a full hop thunder jolt, and then you run into them and try to shield. If you try to shield this, I can actually grab you before you can grab me. So right here, even if you try to shield, I can get a grab. And if you get hit by it, it also comes to grab. There's other things you can do, like uh, roll away, but he can just predict that. So basically, when he does the full hop thunder jolt, you're playing like a rock, paper, scissors game, but you're going to win like two-thirds of the interactions, assuming they don't hit you out of the air. So this gives you uh, the advantage in neutral game. You take a bit of damage to do it, but it's still worth it in the long run. Now, then you can do big combos. For example, Pichu's down throw. Um, from low percentages, you can do things like uh, up air into an aerial. That's probably too high percent, but you basically do uppers at the very low percent. On a basic standard combo that works like from like say zero to eighty percent, you just down throw and do like a forward air, and that that can work from like zero to eighty. It varies greatly on the character. That's some of his bread and butter combos that you're going to get started. There's more complex combos. I'm sure you've saw it seen lightning loops. That's more complex. I've never practiced them. You do like a down tilt. Why are you hitting me? What? Die. No, you die. I lightning loop me, Leo. Lightning loop me. You want to lightning loop me? Come on, do it on your first try. Okay. Down tilt, up tilt. That's not a lightning loop. Down tilt, up tilt, and then up air, and then back airs or whatever. Nope. Come on, come on, Leo. You you want to you want to up smash me? Lightning loop me. Aww. Well, well, it looks like you don't get a lightning loop today. Are you are you happy now? Yeah, I'm happy now. <laughs> anyway, no lightning loops is when you do like down tilt, up tilt, and then like. Basically, you want to use the back air so that you only get like everything but like, the final hit. But that stuff I've never practiced, and I'm sure you could just YouTube search lightning loops and get a better description. So I'm not going to waste time talking about that. But basically, the idea of Pichu is when you get a hit, you can, you, you can do large combos. So this character is basically a lab character. You want to lab the different combos. There's lots of videos that are released on the internet. You can show stuff like that. So I'm not going to go too much in detail, but that's the basic game plan of Pichu. And then some other stuff he has is edge guarding. Pichu can do a back air off the stage. To get a really good edge guard, you can do it to read a double jump, or you can just throw it out and just hope it hits. And when it hits, it can kill at a very low percentage because it has strong base knockback. This means even at low damage, it hits pretty hard. Also, if you think they're going to go over you, you just do a thunder. Uh, you just do a thunder, and it can catch them, and that actually KOs at 0%. If you hit the cloud, it actually just kills at 0%. You can spike people really early with that. And if you, if you for some reason, don't want to do your thunder or back or edge guarding, you can simply uh, ledge trap them. If you think they're camping on the ledge, you just shoot this. But most of the time you do F-Tilt, you just spam F-Tilt to catch the ledge jumps. Uh, they can beat it with like get up attack or just ledge roll and stuff. But you can also dash back in F-Tilt, uh, dash back forward smash, forward smash over here. Or and if at certain mid percents, you can do down tilt into a spike. You can, you can do a lot to catch the ledge jumps and rolls. There's, there's not one particular option he's bad at covering. He can basically cover everything if he gets a read it, and they all care early. So Pichu has very good edge guarding and very good ledge trapping which are two very important traits in this game. Okay, so neutral, one of Pichu's best moves is to full hop thunder drop. When you do that, try to shield grab me. I can actually grab first because of the shield stun. And so if he shields it, I can grab first, but if, he, if it connects, it also combos to grab. So the best thing they can do to avoid that, well, they can do like rolling or spot dodging, but then all the Pichu has to do is predict that, and then he gets a punish anyway. The point is, it's a rock, paper, scissors, no matter how you slice it. However, it's an RPS where it's not necessary even. It favors Pichu. He's going to be right more often than, than you are, and he's also going to get a better punish game because of his grab. Th therefore, doing full hop neutral B, even though it only does 0.4 damage to yourself, the risk reward is generally worth it. Every time I fire Pichu, I just feel like he's, he's here, I don't care. Everyone, everyone is like saying she, like Pichu is a she. I think it's actually a he. Like, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter actually, Jason, right? Mm -hmm. 
So I think one of her weaknesses are like, she dies super early, or he, I don't care. Like, Pichu dies super early. Pichu dies like super early. The, the character, I don't want to say she or, or he, the character is always gonna die like super early. The character is always gonna lose to a like a ranged character. Like any sort of character is like gonna body Pichu in my opinion. Even if you have a recovery like Ike, like Krom, you're gonna still kill Pichu at like super early percent. I mean, he can still, he, he can do it too. Like it's harder to do it with Pichu. Like everyone, actually, I, in my opinion, I think they overrate Pichu. I don't think Pichu is that great like people think just cause like he dies super early and like, yeah, he got like kill, kill power, good combos, but like, it's not everything. Like every time he's gonna hit you, he's gonna get damage, he's gonna damage himself. And like, that's gonna help you to kill him even earlier. Pichu is indeed the lightest character in the game by quite a bit. Uh, on the flip side though, uh, you can't gimp him for off the edge. So he's not gonna die from like being edge guarded at a low percent because his recovery is so good. And because he's so small, he can just pop out of a lot of combos sometimes, like bayonetta combos for example and he's also harder to hit in general. So where, where he has a weakness and he's the lightest character in the game and he hurts himself in addition to that, it's made up for it having a great recovery and being the smallest body, which means he's not gonna get comboed as hard and many moves that don't hit low will just miss him. So it's a, he's gonna be really bad and really good against certain moves depending on if they can hit low, how much yeah. they value the edge guarding. For example, some characters might have trouble trying to edge guard a Pichu and you're just gonna grab ledge for free. But then if you pick like Mario, you just do a dash attack, you hit his up B at the ledge every time for free. Like it's gonna vary a lot on this specific matchup. Yeah, also as a Pichu, like like Jason just just said, Pichu needs like a player to be really consistent. Cause, like you can like kill someone at, like 20%, but, but like you can die super early. So you need to be like super focused in the game, super like super consistent. Like even the Pichu mains are like, they win tournaments, so like they get like 65 in a tournament. Like it's just super inconsistent. Just yep. cause he dies super early. Overall the character is like, it kind of reminds me of Melee Fox, where it's like, you can just lose to any character very easily, but at the same time, but like theoretically if, if you're playing perfect, you could yeah, potentially be the best God, character. Yeah, you're just very the best similar character. to Melee Fox. But like, even if you're playing well, if your opponent is also playing good, you're just gonna get bodied sometimes. Uh, it's also up throw thunder. Uh, that works at like over 100%, for example. You, uh, you up throw somebody, then do the thunder. It's obviously easy if they don't DI, but most people choose, they grab you. They do one grab attack. That means most people, when you get grab attack, they're like, oh, I'm gonna hold full left or full right. So what they do is, if, let's say I'm predicting Leo to go left. So go left. Then I, what I do here next is I jump. And you can't just thunder, because this will happen. So you have to jump and then hold like down, like if I jump to the left, I press down right on the control stick and then X and down B basically and then like you curl it or something. I haven't done this in a long time. Wait, let me, let me try it again. Yeah, like that. It's like kind, kind of weird and I haven't really practiced it much but basically after like 120 or so you can get a true combo. Now the tricky part comes into reacting to everything. I'm not, as, since I'm not a Pichu main, I'm not very sure on if it's really easy to react. Like even when I was playing Void and Friendlies at a Summit, there would be sometimes I would purposely not DI, which should be the easiest one. But he was so confident to go full left or right that I made his job extra hard by adding one more mix up. That's not something you should do very often at all, because it is the easiest to, by far the easiest to do if you do expect it. But it could be a rare top level mix up. But yeah, basically you just you dash one direction and then you do like three inputs at once. There's guides on how to do up through thunder. You should just look at those. But the basic idea is that um, I'm not sure, totally sure how I feel about it right now, but it should be guaranteed and it's even easier on like big body characters. Who, characters who have like slow air dodges, like heavyweights and whatnot, because they, they, even if you miss, it's like they're not really gonna, they're still in a really bad spot anyway. In case your friend is bringing you with Pichu, even if you don't like Pichu, in case you like Pichu, it doesn't matter, you're still gonna lose if you don't know the matchup. So I'm one of those players that never lost to a Pichu before, so I, I'm really confident versus that character. You, you basically just need to do like, have a range character, even if you don't, you just need like some character that can be like Pichu moves. Cause like we already know that Pichu is like super strong. He can just kill you like 30%, 40%. But like you can do the same, exactly the same thing to him. He's like a super light character. He's actually a lighter character in the game. He's like really small, so he's not gonna get combo a lot. But like there are some characters that can actually combo Pichu really well. Like Mario, Lucina, Mart, another Pichu, Pikachu, Wolf, like Peach. So those are some examples that you can just use those characters versus, versus Pichu. 
A lot of people actually say that Peach Wars matchups actually Mario, just because like Mario doesn't care about who character who you like you are. He's just gonna do the same combo with, like over and over. So like the ta the thing I do with Peach is literally just have a character with range, like with a good combo game. Like imagine Marfed or Lucina. They have like dancing blades, so always gonna put like 20% on you. You're like also super light, so you're gonna start dying super early. Lucina and Mara are like super good versus Pichu, because like Pichu, Pichu moves, they are not gonna hit you if you put like a sword in front of him. Fatality. Cause like you literally just need to ferry and like Pichu can't do anything. Even if you, if Pichu tries to hit you, he's just gonna be like, oh, I'm just gonna get hit by the sword, cause like I can't do anything. Cause like his, 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 his moves, hitboxes are like his core box. So it's like a really bad thing about Peach. So literally, you just need to trade everything. Like if you were playing Sheik in a Smash 4, like Ryu versus Sheik in a Smash 4 was like, okay, I'm just gonna trade everything with Sheik. She's gonna get like 4%, 4 I'm gonna get like 17%, so it's worth it. And don't try to edge guard Peach, he's like super dangerous. He can just jump to down and kill you at like 0%, the same as Thunder. So you just need to be in this, like in case you want to edge guard Peach, you just stay in the ledge and ledge trap Peach. Like he's gonna be in, the, in a bad spot, like he's gonna start dying at like 60%. And Pichu also get like scared about it. Yeah, and some characters have lingering hitboxes. For example, as I mentioned before, Mario's dash attack, it lingers for a very long time. There's something called two framing. <laughs> but with Mario's dash attack, it might as well just be like 20 framing. It's like super easy. You just throw out the dash attack and you're probably gonna hit and you just get free damage. And that damage is extra good because Pichu dies sooner. Not every character has that though. A lot of characters just have to let Pichu grab ledge or it's really hard. Like Marf can like down tilt, but usually you're gonna miss. But then, yeah, some moves, are just lingering for a long time, and based on the character, you want to just do a lingering move to hit the hit the ledge. Pichu's up; he doesn't have a hurt box, so these lingering moves are really good. Also, for like neutral characters like Wolf, for example, they could just like do their reflector. Uh, it, depending on the distance, it's it only works sometimes. Like they can bait it out. But you can do the reflector, reflect it back, and then you can either full hop or roll left or right after after the reflector. This could be good. Also, certain moves like Wolf Nair, for example, it goes through the Thunder Jolt, while you can also hit Pichu at the same time, and you can mix up left right drift. There's some good counter plays to Pichu. you. Um, I don't know if every single character, but uh, you don't want to be in a situation where he does a full hop thunder and then plays the RPS game, which favors him. Yeah. That is that is playing right into Pichu's hands. Yeah, that, that actually can be like counter. You, like if you know he's gonna jump to the to the neutral beat, you can just Hit react to it. Like guess he's gonna jump and like punish him before he throws the neutral beat. A lot of characters actually do it. That's why I recommend actually to use the, like a fire emblem character versus Peach. They are like pretty good. You also need to move that has like a good base knockback, like good knockback. That like, I don't know, Pichu makes a mistake like 50%. So you, you need to make sure he's gonna die. But like, if Pichu get like, I don't know, 100%, 120, that means you're doing something wrong, right? It's like you don't want Pichu to live that long. So you, you, always, you always need to be looking for Pichu to die at like 60%, probably 20%. So you just need to choose the right character, like, know everything about Pichu, about your character, and like, like learn how to punish every every mistake Pichu does. Like, it seems like Pichu doesn't have like any lag. I mean, I mean, he doesn't. But like, you can still punish sometimes. So you just need to like learn when to do it. We're gonna be ranking Pichu's attributes, like kill power, movement, everything about the character. So the first stop is gonna be combos. I think Pichu combos are like, S. that's like, easy. yeah, like easy, easy, like easy S. Like, easy, they are like super hard to do, like once you watch like, I don't know, a video tutorial on YouTube or like you learn how to do it. If you go to training mode every day, like at least two hours, you you, sh you should be fine like learning the combos. So I would say it's an S, yeah. you just need to master them. Yeah, that's one of, combos is one of his strongest attributes. Similar to Peach, he can actually kill you in a combo. Uh, that is actually possible to do. So uh, definitely S tier. Yep. Edge guarding, he's also S tier. He has a lot of ways to edge guard you, and he has a lot of ways specifically to gimp you, which means killing at a low percent. What does that mean? That means um, his moves are really, there's two things, there's base knockback and knockback growth. His moves, Pichu, even more than Pikachu, for example, have really strong base knockback, which means he's very good at killing you at zero or low percentages, because it's always gonna send you really far, no matter what percent he hits you. Moves like back air hit really far at zero, thunder will always kill you at zero. Between back air and thunder, for example, and even moves like forward smash, they all hit really hard at 0%. So they're, all, they're always gonna send you really far and uh, can kill you off the blast zone from the ledge really, really well. He has neutral B to edge guard, like you can edge guard Marfa Lucina with the neutral B with low risk to yourself. And this is unrelated to ledge trapping, which I mentioned before is very good. 
Pichu is some of the best edge guarding in the entire game, so this is also S tier. I think the same as Jason. I think it's an S. Everything that Jason just said, it's actually like, it's actually that what Pichu needs to do. I also think that he he said that he can just neutral be Mars on Lucina's recovery, or like even Troy's recovery. But like sometimes when you don't even have a jump as those characters, you can just go with a downer and trade them. Like you just need to be ready to tech, and like they are just gonna die. It's just like a war trade. It's really good. I would say his neutral is S, except for the fact that every time he shoots a Thunder Jaw, it does uh, four, uh, point 0.4 damage to himself. So he almost takes half a damage. So if you're gonna lose points off that, then I'd give it A. But if you're not gonna lose points off that, then I'd give it an S. Pichu has pretty much good stats at every category. The only thing is like, it, he, he's so light that he dies at a sooner percentage. That's his really yeah. Yeah. main yeah, we range, actually, range we and weight are his only weakness. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> he, it's like everything's an S, but then overall we, these two weaknesses, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Is mine fine? And kill power, Pichu's also an S, but it should be noted that his kill power is specifically good at lower percentages. His moves hit really hard at zero, but they actually don't scale that high for the higher percentages. So if you're in the, like, the, the very middle of like Pokemon Stadium or Kalos, for example, he's not gonna kill as easy as some other characters maybe, or like maybe the same level. But at the edge, at lower percentages, he's going to have amazing killing. So in that aspect, his kill power is S. But if you fail to kill him at the low percentage, then it's probably an A. Yeah, I also think the same kill power is... I think, I see him like Marth's kill power. Like, you can just die like super early because the Tapro, like, you can just get someone onto like 150. That's why Pichu needs to focus on killing someone like super early. Because like, if he doesn't, he's going to start getting more and more damage while he's trying to kill you. Because like, he hurts himself. So I would say an S, but like it's, so, it's sometimes like a B or like A. It depends on how you're playing, on like how consistent you are. Pichu's movement, I would say, is an S mainly because he's small. So, and also the quick attack, even though it doesn't hurt you, you can get from point A to point B really fast. Like you want to just quick attack wherever. Just keep in mind you damage yourself when you do that, unlike Pikachu who not only does not damage himself but hurts you. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you're talking about movement as in how hard you are to hit, then do I factor in the fact that he's a small body? If so, then it would be S. But if you're not gonna factor in the fact that he's just a small body, which is just innately always gonna help him in every situation, then it'd probably be A. Exactly same as Jason. Like, he's just really good. Even if, even if you're not taking the fact that he's like the smaller character in the game, he's still like super fast. He can just do, like if he's in a dis disadvantage thing, he, imagine if he's on the ledge, so you're just trying to like put pressure on him. He can just obby into obby and get to the center of the stage again. So it doesn't even matter like she or he is like super small character and he can do whatever he wants. Overall, Pichu is a top tier character. Some people think he's the best in the game. I think he's around like maybe bottom of top five, borderline, give or take. His only real flaws is lack of range in neutral and Obviously, the fact that combining the fact that he hurts himself and is light. Although I think the fact that he's a small hurt box pretty much compensates over for that. So those weaknesses, I mean, this is why I think certain characters like Peach, maybe Almar, like for example, were better characters, but he's definitely by far one of the better characters in the game. Same, he's one of the best characters. I just don't think he's like one of the five best five characters in the game. I just don't, I just don't think he's one of the best. But like, he's definitely top 10 or like top 15 for sure. Like. Like, yeah, you don't even need to think about it. He's like super good. He can kill you like super early. She can, she can still die like super early. So it just depends on you. Like if you're playing well, you're just gonna be a monster. If you're playing like whatever, you're just gonna, you're just gonna lose. Wow, incredible. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell or else Pikachu will be very sad. And then uh, if you like Pichu or even if you think he's overrated or anything you want to add, make sure to mention it in the comments below.